I know you've heard the term, given it shall be given unto you, but what do I have to give so it'll be given back to me? Hello and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thank you for joining me today. You know, we've heard that term, we've heard it over and over again, and it's in the Bible here in Luke chapter 6, verses 37 and 38. Uh, that's in the New Testament, the third, the third book in Matthew, Mark, Luke. So it's right there if you want to look it up. Matthew 6, 37 and 38, it says, Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. And in 38, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over. Shall man give it unto your bosom? For with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you again. Now, many people, when they hear this and read this verse, they think of money. They think of giving money to the church, and you're going to get it back, or giving it to a ministry. Now, I want to tell you, when, I start, when I'm reading this, I start with judge not. And I see that God is telling us not to judge lest we be judged, and not to condemn lest we be condemned. And if we forgive, we'll be forgiven. And that happens as well as with the given it shall be given unto you. Now, let's talk about this. You know, back in the days uh, of Jesus... What this meant was when they would go to buy something, it wasn't measured in, in grams or weight. They would bring a jar and they would fill it with grain and they would press it down and they would shake it. They'd press it down to make as much room as they can to fill it up. And the same thing with wine. You're putting grapes in and you're pressing those grapes in. And the juice is coming up until it's overflowing. It keeps pressing down. Okay? That's what this is about pressing down and shaking together and running over. Then it says, shall men give into your bosom? Back in that day too, a bosom that was like a cloak and they would carry things in it. So when they were pouring uh, into the vessel and it would, they would over pour it into your cloak. So you're giving you extra, you're getting more back. And that's what this is talking about. The more we give, the more we receive. Now, yes, it happens with money, too. The Bible tells us to tithe, and it tells us that we, we will be blessed. But it's also, also about what we're giving to other people, what we're giving in our time, what we're uh, giving in our help, what we're giving to other people all the time, what we're giving in our inspiration, what we're giving in our encouragement. That is all part of this verse. I believe this, and I believe if we will give more to other people, in our time, in our things, even in our financials, in our finances, God's going to bless us back even more. Now, I'm not talking about just the fearless faith. I'm talking to everybody around you. People are going to notice you. They're going to um, depend on you. They're going to see you as a help. They're going to see you as an inspiration. They're going to see you as an angel coming to them because they need what you have, and you're offering it up for them. You're just offering it up, and God's going to bless you back abundantly. Because that's what the Bible says he does. And he doesn't lie. He will do this for you. So I want to encourage you today to do that. To inspire others. To encourage others. To give help to others where it's needed. It could be in any way. It could be in intangible objects. It could be tangible objects. It could be financial. It could, it could be just with prayer. You know how much we just love your prayers here. Because you build us up and you help us up with your prayers. So I thank you for this today. And I pray that this really blessed you. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you all and have a wonderful day.